Sometimes we have a couple of different feature classes and we want to be able to copy and paste features from one to the other. And that's what I've done just here. So initially I created all these polygons that represented buildings, car parks, trees and walkway, walkways around my James Cook University campus. And then separately, I digitized a line feature to represent the roads. And then I buffered that line feature because the scale I was working at meant that the roads really should be polygons. But now what I have are these two separate feature classes. So one that represents my infrastructure and one that represents this roads buffer class. But I actually want to incorporate that into my infrastructure and include that as part of my gray infrastructure. So what I need to do is I've switched on my roads buffer layer so you can see it in this blue polygon around the outside and all I'm going to do is quite simply select that polygon. So if I have a look at my attribute table that I've brought up down here, there's just one feature in that attribute table here. So I've selected it here and again I could select that in the map view as well. Now all I need to do to copy this particular feature is to make sure under the edit tab you have select clicked on here and then once you do you can right click inside your selected feature and go to copy. Now once we've done that all we want to do is to paste it into our infrastructure layer. So let's turn it off from the roads buffer here so we'll see it appear when we do paste it. So normally when we paste something we can just use control V and if we were to do that it would actually be the same as doing a right click and using the paste button here. But that's not what we want to do in this case because all it's going to actually do is to paste it back into the roads buffer layer which is not where we want it, we want it into the infrastructure feature class. So instead I'm going to use my keyboard and do control alt V and when I do that it'll put it into my infrastructure class instead. So it gives me this option to go to paste special and I'm going to say that I want it into a different layer and that layer being infrastructure and I'll hit OK. Now once I do that you can see that it's just popped up in my infrastructure attribute table here and it's highlighted as being selected. Now I can't actually visualize that just yet in my infrastructure map view here and that's because the value of it is null and if you have a look in my table of contents I only have selections for building car park trees and walkway. And so that's fine, all I'm going to do here is change this value of null here to roads and that creates that new attribute there. I want to make sure that I save as I'm going and once I do this I'll now need to go in and change the symbology for this particular feature class here. So just right clicking on that and going to symbology and we'll see we've got all these the unique values just the same as what we've had previously when we symbolize these different features. I'm going to come down here to the plus button which is going to allow me to add unlisted values. So my listed value is currently a building car park trees and walkway and I want to add roads into there as well. So I'm going to click on this plus button and we'll see that come up there. Now if it doesn't come up for whatever reason, you can also go to option and go to add new value and just type in roads for yourself. We're going to do that and let's, let's leave it at that, at that color as well. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to tap out of there and go okay. And there we go, we can see our roads now pop up within the infrastructure layer. So roads buffer is completely turned off and I have it sitting there now both in the attribute table and on the, and on the map view as well. So I can click clear for that selection and we'll see that that has, has now populated in and that's looking all good in terms of the polygons that we have digitized. So one thing that we haven't done yet is really to look at some of the background, so some of those areas that we haven't digitized yet and we would like to include those. So obviously I need to finish up where my trees are and some of the other buildings etc. But some of those background ground values and those sorts of things, we want to have a look at the quickest way that we can incorporate those without also having to digitize individual polygons. So we'll have a look at that in another video.